Then David McKay's team at NASA took a closer look. We were looking, um, scanning around in our electron microscope, looking at Allen Hills. And we were particularly looking at the carbonates. There are a lot of rumors and, and mutterings in corners about the possibility of something unusual having been found in this meteorite, but nobody would say for definite. And I started to see some features in Allen Hills which were very strange. Somewhat elongated features that had segments in them. The next day we found a few more of them and we really got excited. They thought they'd found a tiny fossilized Martian. This is perhaps the most controversial part of our presentation, but we'll show you those anyway. Anybody else who'd seen Allen Hills 84001, who'd analysed it, who'd even had a grandma who'd seen 84001, was being interviewed to, to get their, their take on, on what had happened. The scientists will lay out for you how an ancient rock found its way from Mars and it got to Earth. The first time I saw the worm-like structure was at the press conference that the NASA scientists had. Martian microfossils. And I must admit, I was pretty amazed at the structure. It is four and a half billion years old. It looks like a segmented worm. It looks like you might think a fossilised bacterium would look like. But then you realise, well, crumbs, it's very small. It means we're right on the edge of a potential unbelievable discovery that's going to rock our world, rock our world, if it's true. When McKay's team analyzed the rock surrounding their worm, they found three different substances often produced by bacteria on Earth. These substances could all be explained without life. But McKay had a theory which would explain why they were all there together. Ours was the only one that could explain everything simultaneously with the same simple explanation, that is, life on Mars. They are the remains of Martian life. Is the fact that six things are consistent with the presence of life enough to convince you that you're making one of the, the most sensational claims ever made? And I would say no, that, that what you need is evidence that requires life to explain it. This may look like a Martian worm, but Ken Nielsen has shown how deceptive appearances can be at this minute scale. The pictures of the Allen Hills meteorite were taken using an electron microscope, and to get the best images, the rock sample was coated with an extremely thin layer of gold. Nielsen's team have been looking at rocks with a new kind of electron microscope. This one can work without the gold coating. To my way of thinking, uh, it's very impressive how different the samples are uh, when they're coated with gold or not coated. His uncoated rocks look jagged and crystalline at high magnification. But add the gold coating and tiny blobs appear which are about the same size as the famous Martian worm. The edges now can be rounded off with the gold, and even an expert could be fooled. You look at it and you say, wow, you know, that could be life. 